Golf Spotlight. I'm Ralph Irvin, and this week we're talking about golf balls, but we're not going to talk about technical properties that make a golf ball better. We're going to talk about something completely superficial that every player wants to have. We're joined by Mike Ferris from Taylor Made in the golf division, golf ball division. And Mike, what is it that you have that is going to make every player smile with their golf ball? Well, I, I think the fun part about what we're talking about now, Ralph, is golf's a personal game. You're out there for four or five hours, maybe six, depending on where you are. And, you know, there are certain things about golf that make it inside yourself. And one of those things is numbers. And, you know, most people, they, they played something from a zero to an eight. But the reality is everybody's got a favorite number. I bet you do. What's your favorite number? Uh, my favorite number is 56. And why is that? The uh, number I wore playing football in high school. And you know, interesting enough, I play 88s because that was my high school football number. So everybody has a favorite number. So we said, okay, let's take yours, Ralph. This is a 56. And so it is. Right. And so when you look down at that golf ball, there are memories that you're going to have, positive, warm memories about the experience you had playing football. And everybody else that chooses their number has a positive experience or a wonderful uh, notion of what that means to them. So we said, let's do it on a golf ball. And this isn't a new concept. This is actually something you've been doing, just not for the general public. Correct. We, we do it for our tour players now. Uh, Justin Rose plays 99s. Sergio plays 01s. Natalie Gulbis plays 7s. They all have a reason why they have their favorite number. And we said, well, they enjoy it so much. Why not transfer and allow the consumer to do the same thing? Now, this obviously is going to be something that anyone can go and get their number on a ball, so it's got to be really expensive to do. Uh, it's really not. Um, you know, the average, which we don't set that price, but we think the average will be about $5 a dozen more that they can have their own number, anywhere from 0 to 99 and even double digits, so 0, 1 to 0, 9. And for the added expense, I think people will have uh, you know, a lot of great memories with their product. So you're talking about then what would essentially be like a custom order. Is that something that takes a long time to process or is it something that's easy? No, actually uh, you can go on our website and actually pre-order the document, print out the order form, bring it into uh, any uh, you know golf uh, pro or golf dealer that's out there and they can turn the transaction around and we'll ship it within a week. Now a lot of people, I, I've talked to some people about this um, and what they were saying was well it's kind of like hitting a logo, it's just kind of painted on. That's not really the case in terms of the manufacturing, is it? No, actually we treat it just like we would treat a tour player's golf ball. Uh, we, don't, we don't do it anything different. That, that number that's on the ball doesn't come after. It's literally embedded in the ball just like we print any other golf ball with the same durability characteristics. So it's really your ball. And so if people want more information on how to get their tailor-made balls, how do they do that? So what you would do is you'd go on our website and you can type in either mytpball.com or tailormadegolf.com. Easy enough. Mike, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Rob. I want to thank Mike Ferris for joining us here on the Golf Spotlight. Join us next time as we continue to bring you the information that you need for your next golf purchase.